So, you keep on running. Yep. The Great North Run this weekend. Yes, indeed, yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, I've just had chemo on Monday, so we're in the Great North Run six days after uh, a full um, bout of chemo. It's going to be quite tough. Um, How do you feel now? I feel a bit, yeah, I feel a bit sort of woozy still. But I'm, um, I get used to having chemo, I think. It, it, it still takes a lot out of me, and I'm still really, really nauseous and very, very tired. But it's um, it's just a challenge to us really to fit in as much as we can around treatment every uh, between every uh, fortnightly uh, chemo session I have, just to make sure that we um, you know we we're, we're living life to the full as a family really. And the Great North Run this time last year that was that kind of the, the, your first kind of big run. Well, it was um, I did the Great North Run in two thousand and eleven. Right, okay. Um, before I was diagnosed in March 2012, so that was that was my first big run, and that was the last race I did before I was diagnosed. So to be doing it again this mm. this weekend um, feels like I've come full circle, really. That of um, you know I, I never expected to be able to do that. There's, I mean, there's lots of things I never expected to be able to do. You know, I'm running with my uh, with my wife and my sister um, at the Great North Run, and a friend of ours as well, which is incredible. Um, my uh, my youngest daughter turned two um, a few weeks ago, and I never thought I'd be around for her birthday. And my uh, mm. my middle child starting school tomorrow. Wow! Um, well, she yeah, she's starting uh, yeah, and it's just an absolutely incredible thing. You know, these are these are real kind of huge tangible things that I never thought I'd be around for. It sounds it sounds really dramatic to say that, but in February. 2013 I was given to six to 12 months um, life expectancy so mm. to be here so much uh, longer after that is uh, is incredible really and I think we're very grateful. The Great North Run this weekend mm -hmm. you've got Berlin when? That's the 28th of September. But you threw another one in didn't you just uh, just uh, another half one? Another, yeah we did the Blackpool Hilton half marathon at the weekend right. and it, my cousin was up from uh, London and it seemed like a wonderful, you know, great thing to be able to do with him. I've never run a, a race with him before, so that was, an, a, again, another thing I never thought I'd be able to do. So I, I just take, I think, every opportunity to um, to enjoy life as, as much as I can, really. And I think, for me, obviously, running is really important um, for that, but it enables me to do so much as well. I think if I'm up and about training, running then I'm also around for the girls when they're uh, waking up and I think it helps to energize me and I, I really feel like it's helping to fight cancer as well. Mm. There was um, a report we saw the other day, a Macmillan report that said, um, well they, they advise bowel cancer patients do six hours of moderate intensity activity uh, exercise a week mm. which is you know something I do so it's I mean that's a real nice kind of reassurance really that, that the exercise is, uh, is helping and makes a difference. And are you going to carry on doing big runs like this? Yeah, I, there's, um, there's an ultra marathon in Helvellyn I'm really interested in doing an in December. An ultra marathon? It's now that sounds, I've got no idea what that is but that sounds hardcore. Well an ultra marathon is anything longer than a full marathon. So this one would be 38 miles and right. that's in December in the Lake District in Helvellyn so mm. that's I'm, I'm really interested in doing that but there's, there's a few more things I need to work out I'm also really interested because I always say I, I swim so badly there's yeah. no point in saying I can't swim um, I mean I'm really dreadful and it's been a big kind of hang up and a fear of mine so I think I'd really like to try and tackle an open water swim or some sort of uh, fitness challenge based on swimming um, I mean that you know I might not be able to do that due to my uh, having chemo and stuff, but that's something I'd definitely like to try because that'd be a real real test for me. And are you finding that a lot of people go into your website, or, or hopefully to give the charity money, but but to find out about what you're doing and, and what you've got planned? Yeah, I mean, we've, um, we've got lots of information on there on our Facebook page as well. Um, if people if people go to um, bensbarmovements.com, they can find all that information on my blog post on there. But also, I, I post every day on my Facebook page, so if they just um, go into Facebook and type in Ben's Bar Movements, they'll be able to uh, find that. But it's um, these are these are things we never expected to be able to do. We've now made our target of um, ten thousand pounds. We've raised ten and a half thousand pounds now, and we're expecting to raise much more. But that money is going to enable the charities that we're supporting mm. to do so much to help the families of people with cancer. 
and and those that are um, are going through cancer as well. So I mean, we're we're really 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 glad to be able to have uh, to have done that. Um, and it's uh, like I said, it means an awful lot to them. Um, but I think to be able to promote um, awareness about cancer is really important to know mm. the symptoms as well. Um, and we're we're really really glad to be able to do that. Well, good luck. I hope the kind of chemo wooziness goes uh, before Sunday. It will in time. And we'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.